Hi everyone, this is Greg from Greg's Whiskey Guide. Um, I hate to do this kind of video, if I may say, um, because uh, I again have to apologize to you all. Uh, but uh, let's say I, I will try to do something uh, um, to give you some content, despite, like um, you, some of you know, quality uh, of connection is very poor. Uh, have to go through Wi-Fi and uh, other things. Uh, I had to put the connect the, the cable for the camera somewhere else. Uh, I can put you in the facade of the computer, so the signal is less good. Uh, I don't like the image. I apologize for the poor quality of it. I check out the sound that doesn't seem too much affected. Um, it's been uh, yes, 10 days, 11 days now, and I'm afraid I have to wait one week uh, again for the experts to give their report to the, the my operator to fix this damn connection. Uh, so I've got no TV, uh, cannot work as before on the computer, and uh, even on the laptop, everything is a bit slow down. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to to keep the moral, let's say. Um, and uh, as I can't do, like I said, uh, under a thousand subs, uh, I cannot put posts uh, to uh, warn you about problems I have. I can only uh, tweet or uh, put something on LinkedIn. Uh, and as I'm not on Facebook, Instagram, uh, stuff like that, uh, many of you won't be aware I had issues, technical issues. Okay, uh, enough said, enough complaining. <laughs> um, I had to change completely my uh, program. I couldn't work on several things. I have to double check on the computer. Uh, so yeah, uh, to put a long story short, I decided to s change completely the program give you my first impressions and again apologies for the poorer quality image quality I give you my first impression of uh, a whiskey i recently uncorked which is from 2020 it's kilhoman loch grenort and uh, sorry for the pronunciation guys um, it's 46 percent abv and chill filtered and colored bourbon and sherry uh, cask mix it doesn't say the proportion I couldn't find anywhere. It doesn't say oh, also, I have to warn you, if it is a French exclusive, uh, because I found it in uh, uh, my hypermarket, which is not an ordinary one, I reckon. But I found it there. I don't go uh, at these days, this moment to retailers. Uh, so I don't have money to buy anything. <laughs> Uh, but this one uh, was from uh, last year, and uh, I believe it's uh, ten bottled in ten Decem uh, December ten, uh, twenty twenty. It's uh, batch twenty slash one hundred eighty eight. For those who wonder, now uh, I did uncork it. Uh, uh, off camera, I did try it one time. It is not a review because I don't have really the time. Uh, I had to do shorter uh, videos if I want to make sure the signal will be uploaded, stuff like that. So it's just some first impressions to uh, help you wait for uh, better times in the channel and better connection, hopefully uh, in one week or so. But I can cannot tell you really because there's such a suspense and painful uh, well okay let's move on again about the color you want it's very pale it's straw even paler than straw if I may say it's white wine but with nothing really brilliant it's very pale that doesn't mean it's not good uh, in my experience there's a lot of masterpieces from Isla that are obviously from refill casks um, so my guess if you compare it to the Saneg which has the same I um, don't know where I can put this yeah I don't have backlight but if you compare the colors the Saneg is much darker 
uh, and the Loch Greenort is uh, is so oh <laughs> inversion is is uh, lighter in color so what does that mean in my opinion it's just my opinion because I, I couldn't find nowhere information um, and couldn't search for it also uh, more in depth let's say uh, connection is not super stable um, my guess it's second or third uh, third feel for both bourbon and sherry because of the color but also when you taste it it's it's lighter and it's not in your face uh, bourbon and sherry profile so uh, yeah i think also because it was around 40 euros and i had a discount on it uh, as a promotional uh, first appearance on the shelves um, they did so yeah gotta be quick i'm not sure over 10 minutes i, I could upload this so uh let's get into it good to be back even if it's not in the best conditions okay so you got your typical maritime uh, antiseptic a bit lafroggish lafroggish uh, you get your some kind of yeah bandages hospital stuff not at the same point as lafrog is but also the beautiful sea spray and um, maybe some lin linen some felt but this is typical for those who wonder this is typical uh, Kilhoman but it is somewhere between the Makir Bay and the Seneg, which is uh, also partly uh, sherry matured. Of course, when you go into darker sherry, full sherry, and you have the Loch Gorm, I have an old batch here. Everything is old, by the way, except this. I have also this magnificent French exclusive only cast strength, original cast strength. It was an old one because I see John McClellan's signature rest in peace on this one yeah well it's Robin I cannot even see uh, the general manager and Anthony Wills of course one of the owner uh, works with his sons there Anthony yes yeah, so, so I'll uh, uh, the smoke is also getting a bit ahead of the of the peat because with a peated whiskey you have several elements in which uh, you have the peat but you you also have the smoke uh, some might be the peat might must be uh, sometimes it's it's more preeminent with some earthy with some uh, vegetal green notes in english uh, here it seems balanced on the nose the smoke might be a bit uh, 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 slightly ashy smoke ahead a bit in the front okay let's get into the palette now Sanjeva. Mm. well it still has to open up obviously so it's a reaction video it's not a review video mind you I will do um, a survey, overview, rundown, call it how you want at some point. It's light. It's a light profile of Kilhoman. For those who want big, bold flavors, they might be disappointed by this one. They prefer even a Mokir Bay seems a bit slightly more expressive. I have an old 2012 that's that's it or 2013 i had a 2013 bottling of uh macerbe the problem is it's not a macerbe uh, uh, no anymore because i added a few centiliters of three samples of a single cask and small batch kill home and two because i was a bit disappointed now it's much better <laughs> believe me or not 
it's the only one I touch the others I don't touch them okay let's get back to it yeah I got some bitter almonds slightly marzipan touch on first try I um, rated it 86.5 out of 100 I don't know I'm not gonna uh, note it now yeah there's some slightly yeast, yeast notes the star anise is not very uh, important um, it's a note I love I would have liked it to be stronger this seems overall kind of light Kilhoman if you ask me but I, s I feel still find it's good hope it will open up later on let's put a few drops of water and finish up this quick review quick if I can <laughs> Yeah, this way you don't see the other bottles. They're so beautiful. I love the design of the Kilhoman once again. One of the most beautiful packaging uh, ever uh, in Scotland's whiskey, I have to say. Just my opinion. Okay, a few drops of water. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, prefer with a few drops. It open, opens up some flower notes, discreet but nice, brings some roundish maritime and peat elements. Also the star anise begins to shine a bit more, almonds again, you know the, the ones you put on top of the cakes and a bit of crushed uh, almonds as well. Uh, yeah slightly well it's not really uh, petrol your stuff uh, it's yeah it's typical Kilhoman but a bit shy if I, if I may say okay there you have it I hope it was still uh, interesting uh, despite very short and uh, with a weaker image quality I'm afraid gonna try now to upload this and hope it works cross fingers <laughs> see you soon as soon as possible and take care guys